All right, so we're back with another SAT math question. So this one says, in the given equation, b is a positive integer. The equation has no real solution. What is the greatest possible value of b? So they give us a quadratic equation, negative x squared plus bx minus 676 equals 0. So in order for us to solve this problem, we need to uh, calculate what is called the discriminant. So the discriminant is what you're going to find in that quadratic formula. So that is square root of b squared minus 4ac. All right, so if you didn't know, the discriminant determines the number of solutions a function has. Um, or a quadratic function has. So if this value is positive, that means it has uh, two solutions. If it is negative, then that means it has zero solutions. And if it's equivalent to zero, that means it has one real solution. So in order for us to calculate this, we just need to know what the uh, this part right here, the negative four times a times c is equivalent to, and then just find a b value that is less than that, but the greatest possible uh, value. I'll show you how to do that. So let's first calculate negative 4 times a, or no, we know our a value is just negative 1, times c, our c value is negative 676. And this will give us a value of negative 2704. All right. So as we talked about before, we need to know that the value of b squared has to be um, less than 2704, but it has to be the greatest possible value. So what we can do is just set b squared equivalent to 2704. Uh, not negative 2704 because um, this is, has to be a positive value in order to be subtracted, right? And so now we're just going to solve for b. So if we take the square root of both sides. We're going to get b is, is equivalent to the square root of 2704, which is oddly equivalent to the odd number, I mean, whole number, which is equivalent to 52. Now, 52 is not our final answer, because if b is equal, equivalent to 52, our discriminant would be equal to 0, and we would have one solution. But this equation has no real solution. And so we know that b is a positive integer. So in order for... Uh, B to be a positive integer, it is just the uh, number that is below 52. So the next closest value under 52 would be 51. And so the greatest possible value for B is 51, because if we can test this, 51 squared is 2,601. And that is indeed smaller than 2,704. And so if you did the math there, you would get a negative value. And so the discriminant would have a negative value, meaning you would get no solution. Um, and that would ultimately solve the problem.